This is a hadith from Tabrani. And Zayd bin Thabit radiallahu ta'ala an is the rawi, the narrator of this hadith. And he says that I was one that was appointed by the Nabi of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to write down revelation. I was one of them that was appointed by the Nabi of Allah to write down revelation. And keep in mind when Allah says, I'm going to protect the Qur'an, that means that all his might and all his power and his divine system will come together for the preservation of the Qur'an. Because Allah is making the promise. There can't be any weakness. There can't be any, be any blemish in the preservation of the Qur'an. So all the powers come together for the preservation of the Qur'an. Now, Nabi Akareem Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is guided by Allah every step of his journey. So he has to be guided when he is appointing the people that are going to write down the revelation. Try to understand this. The wrong person cannot be selected by the Prophet of Allah because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is guided directly by Allah and Allah Almighty has said, I am going to preserve the Qur'an. So if there's anyone that is crooked, that is a hypocrite, that is going to cause problems in writing, he won't be appointed. So just keep that in mind. So Zaid bin Thabit radiallahu ta'ala says, I have been appointed by the Nabi of Allah. And he says that whenever Nabi Akrim Muhammad used to receive revelation, may it be in winter, he used to sweat. So you could see that his body temperature used to intensify. It used to increase. So his body temperature used to be very, very high, warm. And he used to perspire. He used to sweat when receiving revelation. And Zaid bin Thabit says that the droplets of sweat used to drop from the body of the, the Prophet of Allah like diamonds. Motiyo ki tarah. So this is how he looks at the, uh, the experience of receiving revelation. 